Hello, I'm Expired Alphabets, and we have a brand new game just released, Giga Wrecker! New on Steam, it's like 20 bucks. It's made by Game Freak, who are the same guys who did Pokemon all those years ago. Anyways, March 20th, 2032, those things suddenly appeared. Bow Unidentified killing machines. Where they came from, how they got here. Everyone came up with their own ideas, delusions, and theories. Secret weapons of some country went out of control. Maybe they're drones sent by aliens from outer space. They must be metallic life forms from another dimension. Artifacts from some ancient civilization. Dude, I'm loving this art. Conspiracy theories were even headlined on TV and newspapers, but all those only lasted for a few days. As their invasion advanced much faster than we could think, and cities disappeared one after another from our maps, nobody was making stupid rumors anymore. Our armies didn't have the chance against their unknown technologies. All they could do was fall back and retreat. Three years passed since then. Those who are left are barely living in this hell on earth, hiding inside ruins, crawling around like rats. Once you get caught, the old and sick will be killed. The young will be made slaves and worked to death. Ooh. Here sits a girl in captivity. A girl who lost her family, friends, everything. Her name is... Riko Rikeji. I hope I didn't butcher that. What a screw up. These three years, I somehow managed to survive bad situations many times. But this time, I guess it's over. 19 years. Such a short life. And standing in a ruined town close to the prison is another young girl. I must find her! Whatever it takes! Ooh. Yeah, the main protagonist of this is a girl. It's tagged in Steam as female protagonist. That's me, the female protagonist. A button jumps. We're jumping. We're jumpy jumping. Look at my blue thing. What is it? Some kind of thing? I can't tell from this far away. But that's okay. All we need to know is that I can jump. The prison must be down here. This is a terrible voice. The door is locked. There must be a console somewhere to unlock it. It's over here. It's over here! I found it! It's over No, oh, jump! Jumpy jump! That's it! The control- the console to unlock that door! Jump! Up! Yeah! Door unlocked! You know how elevators do. You have to run all around the crazy parts to unlock them. Rika! You must be here! Thump! Clink! Clank! Thud! <gasps> They found her! Rika! Rika! Uh, who is it? Someone from a rescue squad? Good! You are safe! Th thanks! What? Wait a minute. Why do you know my name? Intruder! Intruder! An alarm! Unregistered organism detected in prison. Security squad must head to location immediately. so stealthy. I don't think we will be able to get out of here together. Huh? Um, what do you mean? There's no other choice now. I must. Wait, wait. Put that thing down. It's dangerous. You'll hurt yourself. You're the one on the business end of the gun, bitch. You're a kind person, but that kindness will cause the extinction of the whole human race. What are you talking about? So, I must kill you here. No, no, wait. Stop. Stop! Clevo! Huh? Huh? Oh, Dap! Dap, dude! Intruder detected! We have captured an unregistered human in prison section. A juvenile female decided suitable as quote unquote subject. Repeat, we have captured a human quote unquote subject. No! Let me go! I haven't killed that girl yet! Uh, uh. So here we go. This is it. 
were more dialogue. I was injured heavily and lost consciousness. I'd said to the room out loud. Well, well, what a spectacle. Your left arm is gone from the shoulder, and your ribs have punctured your heart. Your life will end in about five minutes, I guess, but I'm not a doctor. Don't worry about my lab coat, but I have the ability to save you. So, how about it? Okay, I guess. As I, as I was fading away, I agreed with his offer. This man, Dr. Kazuki... I became the guinea pig for his studies, in exchange for bringing me back to life. Kazuki is a mad scientist. I had no other choice but to rely on him. I mean, what was I gonna do? Say no? In order to save my life, my body is reborn, in exchange with my pride. With body and arm stronger than original, I became a cyborg, half machine, half human. My name is Rika Rikeji. That didn't change. Hey, hello there. Are you listening, girl? Huh? What's up? Having a dream? No, just forget it. Well, it looks like your communication functions are working fine. Okay, let's make things clear. What you want from me and what I want from you. I want you to collect and send me as much experiment data as you can. You want me to get you out of this hellhole as soon as possible. That's right. I want to spend my new life out of here. Also, I got something that's on my mind. Something on your mind? It's none of your business. You brought it up. Hmm. In case you forgot it, you owe me your life. Don't you think you could show a little more respect? I know, but... So listen up. I got a plan that will satisfy both you and me. You will search around this place to collect and send me all the data. As soon as I'm happy with it, you're free to go. Free. Right. There's no such thing in this world. Don't think of it too seriously. It's just like a part-time job. No other choices. Alright, I'm in. Yes. That's a good girl, so let's get started. And here we go! Look at my cyber hand! Sometimes it's my left hand, sometimes it's my right hand! Cyber hand! Oh man. Oh whoa! Am I already at a dead end? Of course not! No need to worry. Now is a good time. Let me introduce you to your new powers. The magnificent ultimate invention of all time. One beyond human. The power of the cyborg. Magnificent? I don't think that's the word to describe all this mess you've done to my body. Hey, don't accuse me, girl. You gave me permission. Well, you might not remember, though, because you were that close to death at that point. Of course. Let's go back to the subject, about your new powers. It creates an electrowave from your amplified brain waves and bioelectricity, which aren't things, which excites the nanomachines that exist in the soil and atmosphere. And by adding moment to assembled crystals, this and this, blah blah blah. Hmm. So if I summarize it all, it means you could just bash through those walls. Got it. Not really sure how it works, but I'll do. I've never bashed anything before. Oh, it's easy. Oh, this is fun. I like this. Why didn't I bash things more when I was uh, in prison, I guess? Wait, that's a... A class Rega. They seem to be labor robots, but are still deadly against humans. How could I forget? They slaughtered so many of us. Even my friends. Humans are powerless against them, but you are a cyborg, so you have the power to beat them. You just finish the job and go get me some combat data. You're right, they're no match for me. I can feel it. I have the power to prove it. The power to fight against all this unfair violence. That's what you've surgically attached to my arm. <laughs> Wishful thinking. But keep in mind, being a cyborg means strong, but not invincible. Shapow! Okay, I'm getting used to this. I think I control the direction of my attacks. Yep, and you get attack up. You get attack up, Rika! Don't you know? Don't you know that you just found out? What's up with that wall? There's some kind of yellow stain on it. Those are nanomachines in liquid form. If you recall them, you can collect objects stained with them. Recall? You can draw nanomachines along with the debris by directing them with electro waves. You can't pick stuff up too big, so crush them into pieces before doing it. Shabam! I love her little jump. Yep. Yep. Yeah, you do this. With the nano machine's crystallization effect, you can keep and use the recalled debris as a single mass. The more you collect debris, the bigger it will grow. Yeah, so you can throw it and shit, and it's and it comes right back to you. Whoops. Was not even looking at those guys. <laughs> 
You might already know this, but you can recall and collect those robots' corpses after destroying them. That's because nanomachines flow through their body, just like blood inside human. That's... That's weird to think about. Like, what if... What if human blood cells were just... Tiny little humans? Anyways, stuff about upgrades and blah blah blah. It's not important. Throw this, and then smash the robots, and you keep going. They want me to collect the blue crystals, but I'm not gonna. Or I might. I'm not gonna worry too hard about it. Come on! Yeah, get out of here. Yeah, move. There you go. It's all physics based. When you break walls and pillars, they become heaps of debris, right? You can jump on them as footing, so make use of them to explore this place. Sometimes destruction will create new paths. Sounds like a wise saying, doesn't it? Break and create footing, right. But what happens if I do it too much and destroy stuff which I shouldn't have? That's where you should use the singularity point. A singularity point? What's that? That's the point where robots and computers become smarter than humans, and then they start just developing new and new intelligences until that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about tachyon fields and more science bullshit. Rewind time? You make it sound so simple. Anyways, here you go. If you mess up, you can use that purple goop to unmess up. That's what he was talking about. Boop, boop, boop. Ha ha! Got you from the bottom. Ah. Ha ha! Gotcha. This, this is a fun game. This is a fun. Oops. I messed up. <laughs> I need to go here. Here, singularity point. Shut it's a neato burrito animation. Um, here I am. Bam! Bam! Oops. That's fine. <laughs> oh no, it's not fine. Wait. Um. Ah! Ah! Fuck! No! Oops. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's. It's. It's not as hard as I'm making it for some reason. Damn it! Why? How? Why? How am I messing this up already? Come on. Come on, expired alphabets. Get your goop together. There you go. There you go. Ha ha! Oops. Ha ha! That gotcha. Um, up. There you go. Now you can go in the elevator. Nice. And I got a rock. Oh. No, I don't have a rock. This girl is cute. I'm a big fan of blue hair. Any girl who has naturally blue hair is fine by me. Up, up. Um, bam. Shabam. All right, and then over here. Hey, Doc. What's up, girl? What's up, girl? I can grow my debris by recalling. I understand that, but what's the point of doing that? There are mainly two advantages. The first one, it increases your attack range. The bigger your ball, the farther you shoot. The second, you'll find later. And that's not a whole lot of important stuff. Uh, bam. Uh, bam. Can I, can I push? No, I cannot. I cannot push. Push is not a thing I can do. Alright, how did I... Do I... There we go. I'm... I got it. I got it. Um, and then here. Wajam! 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 Dang it. Is there more goop over here? How do, how do I not have enough goop? Oh, there's some robot over there. Yeah! It's kind of like a Katamari Damachi. Katamari Damachi! Woo! Except, I think the science is more silly in this game. Wajam! And then we go to the elevator. Over here. Yeah, this game has been in like, it looked like it was in beta for a long time, and now it's finally released. Anyways, that's a class, Padma. Those things have a shield part, which makes things a little difficult. A shield part? Are you just gonna say everything back to me? What do you mean? You're saying it's invincible? Calm down and listen. There are limits with their durability. If you hit them with a debris ball larger than the size of their shield part, you can destroy it, leaving them vulnerable. This is another advantage for keeping a larger debris ball. All right, I'll hit them with a bigger debris ball, simple enough. Okay then, I'm gonna teach you crude AIs a new program from now. The humiliation of defeat and the fear of death. 
That... That was one hell of a sentence. Alright. Maybe it's about time. I got some cool news, girl. What? How about your nanomachine ability? It has another function you can use. Another function? Arms creating and handling effect. Call it Archie. Arms... Arms creating and handling effect. Ugh. It's a, the ability to create weapons and gadgets by decomposing and reconstructing nanomachines and fragments. This function should help you out with fighting those robots, and even getting you out of here. Well, why can't I use them right now? There are some limits for creating and using Archie. One must know the complete structure to create and use a weapon. What? I never learned anything about making weapons. No worries, you're going to learn them from now. If this place is a depository or some kind, there must be some blueprint data of weapons. Look for a data terminal with these information, and just install them directly into your brain. <laughs> install what? Into my brain? D directly? Oh. You might have already noticed, but I made some enhancements with your eyes. Now you can see if your debris attack is stronger than the enemy's shield or not by the color of the aura glowing around it. Blah blah blah. This is important for me, but not for viewers of my Let's Play channel. Ow, you! Ow! Stop! I thought you died the first time, you jerk. Wah! And then those two guys are giving each other high fives. Wham! Wham! <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> there's, there's a simple joy in just throwing a giant rock at people. Hmm, looks like there's a blueprint data inside that console. Check it out, girl. All right. Installing ability program, dub relock. Wah! Looks like you got a weapon data. Ugh, my eyes are flashing! As if you could even see that! By applying an Archie protocol to the nanomachines, you now have the ability to create the debris lock. The debris lock? The ability to form your debris into cubes. You can jump on and use them as platforms. Ooh, okay. And then, uh, bam! Jump up, and you can summon it back, and you bam, and you jump up, and you go! Woo! By the way, I got a gizmo which may help you on the way. The navigation map and exploration assisting device. It roughly scans the terrain around you by sending weak electro waves to the nanomachines in the atmosphere. One may call it a nanomachine radar. I see. <laughs> I got a really poor sense of direction, so this will help. Oh, girls being girls. Bad at directions. Anyways. Uh, that's it for today. We'll 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 keep playing next time on the show. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye.